Hey, what's up, you guys? Happy 2018. I don't know what that was with my hands. Uh, first of all, I just want to say my hands are, in fact, orange. They are orange because I'm an idiot and I tried using self-tanner. So, yeah, if you see throughout the video, my hands are orange because I move them a lot. Now you know. Second of all, this video is super overdue. Like, I was supposed to do it last week, but I got kind of sick. So I sounded really gross, and I was like, oh, no, they don't want to hear that. I was like, oh. No, honey. So here I am doing it this week for you guys because I really wanted to post this. So I decided it's 2018. It's the new year. Everybody's probably still writing 2017 on their papers and making mistakes and we're all like, shit. If there's one mistake we are not making this year, it's bringing back old trends that we did last year that are just trash. Like, they shouldn't even be talked about. 2017 just should not be talked about. In like 50 years in the yearbooks, we're going to be looking at all the years, you know. Our kids are going to be looking at 2015, 2016. 2017 is not going to be there. I'm going to be like, 2017, um, never heard of her, never met her, truly don't know her. Hmm. But yeah, 2017 had some really terrible trends and things that we did that we just really shouldn't bring into this year. So before I get into it, make sure you guys like the video and give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the little bell button below so you know when I post every Friday. Okay, ladies and gents, so let's get started. 10 trends that need to stay in 2017. Number one, being racist. It's 2018. I really don't know why I have to say this, like, why is racism a problem still? Because, you know, I, I don't get it. Why is it that way? It really shouldn't be like this. I really shouldn't be having to say this. But come on, guys, like, we're all human. I really don't see why we have to be racist or why there are racist people. Like, just be nice to everyone. Like, some of you guys treat your dogs and cats better than you do other people. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, stop. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. Love everyone. Love yourself. That's it. Number two, squiggly eyebrows. I don't know why this ever became a trend. I guess everyone just kind of got bored in the middle of the year because this was not cute. Like, I don't know if you guys just kind of like did it because you were bored. Like, did people actually walk out like this? Like, did they just like walk out of their house with these squiggly eyebrows? Like, girl. It don't look cute. And then people start doing like the braided eyebrows and like the feather, like just stop. Like I know you got the new Adobe Photoshop, but like, no, use it for better things. Like, can we just not do the squiggly brows? Just keep them normal and looking nice. Three, clothing trends like Gucci and Supreme for clout. I get it. Like there's some people that like actually like their clothes but a lot of people now be getting Gucci just for the clout. I mean, like, I don't understand people that get Gucci for the clout. Like, who does that? You know? <laughs> Stop. Like, just be yourself. Like, you don't have to waste hundreds and thousands of dollars just so you can look cool for clout, you know? Just be yourself. I don't understand why it's so hard. Four, musically. Honestly, why did Vine have to go, like... Really, nobody uses Musical.ly, no one cares about Musical.ly. Why couldn't we just have had that go? Like, I mean, guys, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's 2018, Musical.ly has had a long run. I think it's time for it to retire and we bring back Vine. But I mean, that's just me, sis. Five, fidget spinners. Fidget spinners, for one, I don't want them back because they're annoying. And the reason they're annoying is because Everyone uses them like every 10 seconds just for like fun, you know, like people are just like, oh, look at my fidget spinner. Oh my God, look, fidget spinners. Like, uh, stop. Like, okay, I have a fidget spinner too. But so fidget spinners and all these fidgeting cubes and whatever, they were originally created for people with ADD, ADHD, and anxiety. So it's to help you fidget and like do stuff like people that like do stuff with their hands or whatever like some people they like constantly like i don't know they do like do this or they start like playing with their hands or whatever they made these for people to fidget them just like the name they're not for you to be cool and make your instagram posts like they're just to use to fidget so like i think we need to stop like making them like a trend i guess and just leave it in 2017 and only the people that like actually like Use it like how it's supposed to be used, keep them. Along with dumb trends like the fidget spinner, number six, 
Jake and Logan Paul. We saw Jake Paul all of 2017, a mess every day. It's every day, bro. I think we all saw, or majority of YouTube did see Logan Paul's vlog, The Forest in Japan. That was kind of a crappy start to YouTube for 2018, so I really don't see why we gotta bring the rest of him here. They're pretty much canceled. Both of them are canceled, guys, so I mean, let's just leave him there. They never existed. They're there. This one kind of goes hand in hand with number six. Number seven, making dumb people relevant. Um, I could go rant about this for days. Like, we just need it to stop. Please make it stop. And this is really going to seem like I am trying to hype myself up or other people up. But guys, like, we need to stop making stupid people relevant. And by stupid, I don't just mean, like, dumb, like you're an idiot, like... I mean like just dumb people like why are you famous why do we make them famous why do these people have supporters so um first person that just pops into my head all the time is that i'm whoa Vicky girl whatever she tries to act black she's just very annoying i do not like her i don't know if like this thing's like an act that she does if she just pretends i'm finna slap this bitch she said i'm not black clap her man. I'm finna slap this bitch. He said I'm not black. She said I'm not black. I'm not black. I'm not black. Cause it's, bitch, is you black? Every time I see her post or whatever, like on my explore feed or whatever, I lose like 10 brain cells. Same thing with that Malu girl. I don't know what her name is. Whatever. Like little girls like that i don't know how they are whatever it's not making these children famous like children you are making other children famous and they do not deserve to be famous I'm like mm, i can't explain and these like boys these social media boys i could go on and on about and bryce hall like oh my god i don't like bryce hall i'm sorry guys if you like him i'm sorry i don't like him just these rude people like okay i'm not saying people that do not have talent cannot be famous I don't have talent. Well, I guess YouTube is a talent, I guess, whatever. Just because you don't sing or dance doesn't mean you don't have a talent. A lot of people have a talent. Making people laugh is a talent. Being entertaining is a talent. Being a fuckboy, that's not really a talent. But being able to belly dance, I guess that's a talent, but does it really get you that far? I don't know. Pretending to be someone you're not and just kind of acting like an idiot, does that, is that a talent? Not really. I mean, it gets you money, I guess, but I mean, we need to stop making people like them famous and well-known because it's just really annoying. And in like 30 years, when people are looking back on our generation now, they're going to be like, what have we done? I'm going to be like, I don't know. I told them to stop. They didn't listen. That's enough for like me going off. Number eight, Instagram models slash baddies. There's a lot I could say about them. We need to keep that trend in 2017 because... There is this kind of like idea that people have to look a certain way, especially girls. The Instagram baddies you see, Kylie Jenner, Sahara Ray, I think is her name, Cindy Kimberly, Father Cal's on Instagram, Maggie Lindman, Madison Beer. Like those are just a few of the more well-known girls. Like, they're very pretty. I'm not gonna come at them for that. But we have learned as a society that like girls have to look that way. Like I'm not trying to hate, but if you guys notice, they all look alike if you put all their photos together what do they have in common they got big lips a sharper jaw slim face slim nose they do their makeup all like in a certain way you know they all look the same pretty much and this is a standard that society itself has created and that's because of social media and these instagram baddies and models so i think we need to like really push to be different like it's okay to look different it's okay to be different and i think that's something we really need to focus on in 2018 and really push the subject on number nine the 100 layers of challenges whatever first of all 100 layers of foundation 100 layers of mascara lipstick nails like what are you doing? Like, this was a really stupid trend that I do not want to bring into 2018. Mainly because foundation girl, your pores, they're probably crying, your nails are probably breaking off or whatever. Like, this was just a really dumb thing that we did in 2017 for views, and I just thought it was really stupid. And then number 10, dabbing. If you could do it well, I guess keep it. 
whatever um i just kind of did the whole dabbing thing as a joke because i can't dab like i i can't do it like i just look stupid doing it you know and doing it my eyebrows probably gonna rub off but whatever but yeah we just need to keep it in 2017 because it's just a dance move and we overused it and it was just really ugly to be honest it was just kind of ugly and really extra so so yeah guys that's the end of the video those were 10 trends that i thought we should keep in 2017 leave them there and leave a comment below of what you thought was the worst trend in 2017 whether i said it in the video or not let me know what you thought and i'll be replying to comments so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next week peace out